everybody. Welcome back to Serenity Art Space. I'm your host, Lou. Hope you're enjoying the lockdown right now. <laughs> As uh, most of us are stuck at home, I've been getting a lot of painting done. Uh, unable to go to my normal job doing tattoos at Mass Inc. So I've been taking on commissions uh, through email and via Instagram. And it's been going pretty well. Uh, in the past month, I've taken on and completed five commission paintings, uh, sold some stuff that I already had painted, and I've got two more commission paintings that I'm working on right now with the third that's waiting. Uh, once I get these two close to finished, I'll probably start working on that third one. Uh, it's a bigger canvas, and uh, right now I, I, I'm considering these two as a project about the size of that one big one. So with these two, they're actually for the same person. She's getting them as gifts for her daughters. Um, the theme on the first one, uh, one of her daughters is having her first child. And uh, she really loves dragons. So her mom thought it would be cool to do a painting of a mother dragon with a little baby dragon. Um, and then for her other daughter, she's really into the fairy core aesthetic, which is a lot of... Uh, springtime nature kind of fairy you know ambient lighting kind of thing going on diffuse lighting uh, I've never actually painted something like that but I am a huge fan of fantasy art and to me it seems pretty close to that so both of these kind of fall within the same realm of fantasy art which is cool I really dig uh, trying to you know paint stuff like that <coughs> excuse me so right now I've got two small canvases that I've prepped a background and basically I just wanted to put in um, the basic tone for my entire painting and for my background these are this is done in acrylic and uh, I can build this up with some oils as I go along uh, there's several different ways that I do this I can do it um, I'll show you a third painting that's kind of in that process um, the third painting being an in-between painting when I have several projects going on um, I usually have something in between that's just my own that I can kind of loosen up my brain stop thinking about the other stuff and uh, just kind of be free with my art so um, let me show you this one here is for the fairy core painting um, try to get this into some better lighting so what I did with the acrylic, I started with a white acrylic up in here. I kind of brought that down almost in a sunbeam. I added some yellow uh, coming through that and then some green on the edges. It probably looks all green right now, which is fine because I took my blender and I kind of brushed it all in together. I wanted the whole, wanted the whole background to have a, um, a green tint to it I want the whole painting to have that kind of greenish tint to it so there's that and from here I'll take my white pencil and I'll kind of sketch out all of my subject matter foreground middle ground background <coughs> any specifics that are going in there so that's for the fairy core the one for the dragons this one here actually had an entire painting underneath it I started the dragons I did a full sketch um, I did an acrylic value study and then I started doing my oils I did that yesterday and then when I got up this morning I took another look at it and I just didn't like it my subjects were too small my baby dragon was kind of tiny down here the mom dragon had a very thin neck and her head was here everything was kind of small and it lacked the drama that I wanted and the uh, dynamic aspect to it so I got out my sketch pad quickly resketched the idea um, and once I had that figured out and I was happy with that I went ahead and uh, took some acrylics and I just blasted over this with some black and some red and then let that dry I dried it with a hairdryer and then I took um, took some red and green oils and I started laying in over it once I got all that in there a little bit of uh, white and some yellow ochre and I wanted to create a little highlight area right here you'll see why that's there once the subject matter goes on there so that's number two <coughs> pardon my cough I, uh, I am a smoker it's not COVID so don't worry and I'm pretty sure at least six feet apart from me 
So this is a little in-betweener that I've been working on. And this started uh, with an acrylic background, uh, all black and gray. And uh, I created these kind of wind swirls going through here. There's going to be some music notes kind of coming through and following around. Um, did the acrylic. And then from there, I started putting in some magenta and some purples into the background. Uh, got one layer of that, let that dry. Did some blues and the reds and the yellows and the bird. <coughs> let that dry. And then this morning, I went and added in a little more of that purple and magenta and building up. So when I do my oils, I like to build up in thin layers. And I don't mind if they kind of cross over into each other. Because as I build it, that'll get less and less. And it'll get more detailed and more refined. So this is my little in-between or I'm working on. So it's always good to work on multiple paintings, if especially if you're doing oils, because they do need time to dry before you can work on them anymore. So typically I'll do some work on one, get to a point where most of the canvas is wet or there's really important parts that are wet and I don't want to mess that up. Uh, you can use a mall stick, which I'll get into that in another episode. Uh, so I'll take that painting put it on the wall, let it dry. I'll pull down another one uh, that maybe was drying from the day before, uh, and I'll do some work on that one. And that way you're always working, they're always making progress on each painting. Um, and like I showed you before, a lot of times I'll have an in-between painting uh, that I can mess around with. So usually with oils, I'm working on anywhere from two to three, sometimes four paintings at a time. And everyone is at a different stage of the pro uh, process. And uh, you could do this with anything, really. If uh, you're into pencil drawing or watercolor, acrylic, it doesn't matter. It is good to have other projects just in case you hit a block on one. Uh, that way you got something else you can jump into. Maybe you're a little more motivated on that one. And your creative juices will flow a little bit better. I always find that I have a few things that... When I get stuck and I don't feel like I'm producing really good work to, to my standards, I'll get out my sketchbook and I just draw silly things. And uh, I'll draw them over and over again. And that takes the pressure off because I'm not drawing it for anyone. It's just for me. And um, a lot of times that will loosen me up and I can get back to the paintings that I'm working on. Uh, one of the things I'd like to stress if you're new to painting uh, and new to art in general, it's okay if you start something, realize that something's wrong, and just start over. Uh, happens all the time. There's several of my paintings that are out there hanging in people's homes right now that have one, two, sometimes three different paintings underneath them. Um, you will get to a point sometimes where if you rush through the beginning and but you don't realize it and you get into the middle of your painting and now you're seeing your proportions are off your layout is off pull the plug start over uh, most artists I want to say all artists I say most only because there's a few out there that I have the impression that they're perfect and they never make mistakes but I know that's not true um, most artists have a little stack of canvases that or false starts or they got halfway through and it just they were fighting it so there's you're better off to just set it aside come back at it later or blast over it with some gesso and a new background and just start over again so never be afraid to do that if you're in pencil mode and you're sketching and that happens that's why they make erasers so anyway that's my little video for today I'm going to post progress of both of these paintings, taking pictures along the way, shooting video when I can, and I'll include that in my next post. Hope you all are busy doing some art, uh, exploring, and um, as always, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, share. And um, if there's anything specific you need help with, uh, and if I can help, I will drop it in the comments. If it's uh, a specific thing you have a hard time drawing, a certain medium of art that you're having trouble with, uh, any of that stuff, just drop it in the comments and I'll see you around next time. Thanks.